Hi, my name is Sam Muirhead, and you don't know me yet. But from the 1st of August, no more secrets. I am going open source for a whole year. The problem is, I can't code. I can't solve it. I'm a Mac user. I love technology, but like most people, I've never played an active role in its development. I'm a filmmaker, and for the next year, I am going to be documenting my transformation as I attempt to change every aspect of my life to open source. Those who have heard the name open source probably associate it with software, like Linux, Firefox, and the Apache web server. And this is where it all started over two decades ago. But software is really just the beginning. Open source is a philosophy that encourages openness, sharing, and modification. Rather than licensing a product with copyright, open source is kind of a copy left. This means that anyone is free to change or alter the product, with the only restriction being that if you change anything, any modified versions must also be released under the same open license. And now the idea has spread from software to open source hardware. These are physical objects or tools that anyone can study, modify, or make themselves if they want to. The source code, that is the plans or files that show somebody how to make the product, can be downloaded by anyone. Some people see open source as a way to contribute to a wide variety of projects, gaining support and recognition for their work. Some see a money-making opportunity. As an innovative brand leader, I see open source as a savvy business model going forward. I see it as a beautiful way of life that encourages sharing, transparency and goodwill for all humanity. For others, it's political. Open source will smash capitalism. Some see it as a great way to learn how everyday products are made. Some just see it as a way to get stuff for free. How much to pay? I choose to pay zero. <laughs> Chumps. And me? Well, I don't quite know yet, but I'm excited about exploring these different sides of open source with humor, clarity, and critical thinking as I untangle myself from the world of consumerism and go from an open source outsider to total DIYer and Linux nerd. But I'm not going to get there alone, and nobody wants to watch videos of me alone on my couch all year. But the projects I undertake will be collaborative projects. They'll spread the gospel of open source, get people involved in DIY, and benefit the community. I live in Berlin, a city not only central in Europe, but also central to the open source movement. Within a few blocks of my apartment, there are maker labs, textile workshops, urban farms, and the ultimate hacker club. There's even an open source political party. So how do I plan to live open source? How's the jack here? Do you have it in open source? If I want a new pair of jeans, I can no longer just go to the mall and buy some. I have to find companies selling open source clothing, if they exist. Or I can hunt down open source patterns and make them myself. Or I can just spend a year rocking a toga. But open source making isn't just DIY. I'm always going to be looking for ways to use technology to automate or improve production, to make projects replicable by others. Can I 3D print jeans? Can robots cook me breakfast? Oh, thank you very much. Sometimes I won't be able to find anything. In that case, I'll try to develop my own projects. I'll release the plans, diagrams, or code for others to use. If I can't do that, I'll choose the solution which comes closest to open source ideals, the shariest option. I'll try to work out why there is no open source model and just what's stopping it being developed. I'll be testing just how far the open source idea can go in real life, and of course, asking the big philosophical questions. For this project to work properly, I need to be open too. All my costs and plans will be on the website for all to see, and my video is free to download. Hell, Google already knows everything about me, why shouldn't you? It'll be fun, but there'll be plenty of challenges, and I must say I'm not looking forward to open source toilet paper. In order for the project to have an impact and be effective, I do need financial support, and that's why I'm asking for your help. If this project receives enough funding, I'll be able to buy materials to make exciting open source projects, and I'll be able to pay others to help me in all aspects of the project. If I don't receive enough funding, this project will still go ahead, but it might look a little different. 
Hey guys, sorry I haven't updated for a while, but uh, I've just been really busy, but I wanted to show you my new project. And finally, if I receive enough funding, then I won't have to work as a tour guide anymore, and I'll be able to dedicate all of my time to this project. Yes? So did Hitler really only have one ball? Open source already has the hearts, minds, and sleepless hours of some of the most talented and creative people on the planet. But I want to reach as many people as possible with this project. I want everybody to know what open source is, how it works, what it can be used for, and what its implications are. There's a well-known quote from the founder of Linux, Linus Torvalds. The future is open source everything. Help me to show people this future. Thanks for watching.